next day yard marathon began with uh, taking the prop off because I needed to pull the shaft and we were really lucky to have Eric who gave us a hand and lent me his uh, self-made prop puller which made it a lot easier to get the prop off. Maria still had to heat the prop up a little bit before the beast finally came off. Hola, Eddie. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien. ¿Qué hiciste hoy para mí? Bueno, darte los buenos días. <laughs> ¿Y por qué lo hiciste? ¿Porque ah, no, el otro no alcanzó? No, los otros no sirven porque tengo pules de, de es más grandes, dos un cuarto. Ah. ¡Uh! Sí. sí, no se ve tan bien, tan bonito, pero... Trabaja. Pues muchísimas gracias, Eddie. Chao. Muy buen trabajo. Y tu trago, aquí. Eh, pruébalo y me dices tú qué es. I took the prop to a prop shop to get a professional opinion if I could still keep on using it. And since they're used to deal with much bigger boats, they could not even fit my prop on the machine. <laughs> but they told me that the prop looked okay for now, but that it would not really hurt to replace it in two or three years. So for now I just cleaned it and covered it with a bit of uh, zinc spray. Back at the yard, we took out the shaft with a massive uh, pipe wrench, which found a permanent spot on Carl after doing its duty. And Kenny, who is a really great mechanic in Panama City, let me use his workshop to test my shaft, which got two thumbs up. The prop nut was pretty overgrown, so I had to clean it with a wire brush and we had to drill out the locking nut that was totally corroded into the nut itself. The drill press was a little bit questionable, but we did get it to work in the end and after I had sharpened my drill bit, we finally got rid of the nasty locking nut. Since you don't have your prop shaft, your prop and your prop nut out of the water all the time. I took the opportunity to measure all the parts and to write them down to have them available for any future replacement orders. And I also tried to measure the pitch of my prop but I think I got a little bit lost in translation when, it, when I was reading the instructions online. The next job on the to-do list was to measure the angle for the end of the aluminum bars that Maria had to weld to the engine bed and to grind them down to the right size, which felt like it took three days and three nights. <laughs> In the meantime, Maria cleaned the existing engine bed to prep for the welding job. Eric was our hero again and he lent us his awesome MIG welder and a big vent which made the work a lot easier for Maria. Ready to go? Ready to go! And even though I have a big engine room, Maria was all squished inside and had to do the welding in a challenging position. But she did a really, really great job and Carl is nearly ready to be connected to Big Red now. Ooh, there's a little barbecue going on. After a good day of work, look at this little nifty grill. Eric has it all. Grilling some sausages. Buen provecho, Eric.
De nada, no, gracias. <risa> For some reason, Carl has two cutlass bearings in a stern tube, which doubled the amount of annoyances for us because they were really, really difficult to remove. Even though it might not happen, what's about to happen? Um, maybe. Possibly this will come out. It just felt really good, but you don't want to ruin it. Okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Chocolate! After a lot of sweating and swearing and some encouraging strong beverages, we finally got the little buggers out around 2 a.m. at night. And yes, we we're going a little bit crazy with all the work. We flushed the stern tube and putting the new cutlass bearing in went surprisingly smooth for a change. And that was maybe because we had stored it in the freezer for some days. Whenever we found some time in between jobs and the tide would allow us, we gave Carl's belly a layer of paint which made him look all spiffy again. After six really long and exhausting days on the hard, we tied down the engine and put the shaft and the shaft seal back into place to go back into the water to do the final alignment of the engine in the water. But more about that next week. <laughs>